We turn to a consumer alert. Interest rates going up yet again. The Federal Reserve raising rates by three quarters of a point. This is the fourth increase this year, and there could be more on the way. Our Shabnam Dinesh joins us live in studio to show us what this means for us. Shabnam? Yes, yeah, Shelby, inflation is at a 40 year high, and the Fed is trying to tamp, tamp it down by raising rates. The federal funds rate is now 2.25 to 2.5 percent. Now, that was close to zero at the beginning of the year. That number indirectly determines the cost of loans. Anything that has to do with borrowing, uh, either on the consumer or the business side, costs more. As the Federal Reserve raises interest rates again, PNC senior economist Kurt Rankin says short term loans are affected the most. Because mortgage rates are much longer term loans, and what the Fed is doing is affecting uh, shorter term loans. So, um, Auto loans, for example, five years versus 30 years. The Fed is slowing customer demand and business growth in an effort to rein in runaway inflation. The Fed's term they've been using um, correctly, in my view, is demand destruction. Um, by raising rates, you're raising the cost of borrowing and therefore uh, the cost of doing business. Local realtor Leslie Rothen says Peoria's real estate market remains affordable. Even as interest rates climb, buyers are flocking from coastal cities and its expensive real estate. I think we are going to continue to see a trend of larger market individuals purchasing a home into the Peoria area, the greater Peoria area, because of the affordability. And when it comes to mortgage rates, you can always refinance when rates go down. I've heard somewhere you marry the house and you date the interest rate. The interest rate's always going to be changing. So if you have that mentality to date the interest rate, then when it, if it decreases, refinance your home. As for the labor market, Rankin says Peoria's job economy has a cushion, even if the economy dips into recession. There's now hiring signs will, be, will come down first. Layoffs won't be necessary because consumer demand will just be coming back to meet existing staffing levels. Rankin says there will be even more interest rate hikes later this year. He says PNC is anticipating hikes in September and December, tacking on 1% interest in some. Shelby.